Uh, stock of the day, I thought I'd take a look at a bit of a fan favourite here on the call. Uh, CSL uh, remaining confident it will close its $11.7 billion takeover of Buy for Pharma, despite a warning from the uh, uh, the corporate regulator or company regulator approval that it could take a few more months. Investors not taking kindly to the news, shares down more than 2% in morning trade. This after shares popped up to 12-week highs yesterday as the US court ruled plasma firms can challenge the customer's and bought a protection ban on taking donation from Mexican nationals as long as they have the necessary visas. So, you know, it's one of the great health companies of the world. It's uh, Australian born and bred. Um, What do we think of the announcement today, Gary, and CSL stocks at these levels? Yeah, it's a funny one. I, I do like the healthcare sector. I think it's sort of one of those sectors which has probably been impacted most by COVID. So I think it's kind yep. of like the reopening sort of traits. I think healthcare is a good space to be looking in the next sort of uh, 12 to 18 months. It's just, it's not incredibly cheap here. See, so I know it's never cheap, but historically, if you look at the, what, 28 to 40 sort of annual average PE for the last five years, it's still up around 38. So it's not mm. cheap here, but I do like it technically. I think uh, might have even covered this on the trade there recently. It's sort of there is a little bit of a like a con- congestion pattern here, a little BCP pattern there, which we have sort of poked its head outward here, so on the upside. It just hasn't taken off here. It, the good news is that it hasn't broken a swing low, so right. it's been building here quite nicely. But the, the bad news is that really, normally these patterns, once they break out, they generally don't look back. They keep going. Yeah, so it hasn't sort of kept going here. So that's the only thing. So look, I, I still like it here. I think there's, uh, I like the sector. Not cheap, it never is. Um, but I would just probably have my stop in under the last swing low, probably around 265. But I, th- I think at this stage still looks reasonably robust there. And considering the market, I think it's probably a safe stock to be in at the moment. So you'd say it is a buy, yeah, but yeah, with so a stop loss at 265? Correct. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, Josh, what's the view on CSL? Yeah, I agree. Um, there's not many clients um, that we have or you know, not many Aussies out there that don't have CSL at the moment. Yeah. So um, probably be more on, on the hold side. Uh, I think it's going to do well. Um, I think it's been just gradually been bid up by uh, investors. As Gary mentioned, it's uh, continuing to make those higher lows um, to the downside. There is, I guess, uh, just this continuing selling that happens any time it gets um, anywhere near that institutional raise price. So there may be you know, some people looking for a very small profit um, that went in quite heavy, as largest uh, cap raised on Australia. So yep. uh, you know, there may be some selling at that 273 mark. Every time it seems to get up there, it seems to get rejected. So what we're seeing now is a bit of a um, war between investors and traders going on. Um, Daryl Guppy coined the um, sort of thesis quite well where you know you've got these underlying bid tones of investors uh, but it's just continuing to get sold off potentially by those by that placement um, right. price um, so eventually I think investors will win and it'll get back up to that sort of 315 mark eventually okay so it's a hold if you're in it is it is it one of those stocks depending on you know proportion of your portfolio and you've got to always keep it in balance you know, they say with this with this downturn at the moment, do you start to nibble away and average down on really good stocks at lower prices? Is, does this fall mm. into that category? Oh, I think CSL is a, a great company more longer term. So um, yeah, if you're happy to be a little bit more long term focused and yeah. accumulated at these levels, it's always a great staple for the portfolio. Yeah, yeah. Gary, is it? No, not for me. No, I've sort of been pretty bearish the market. So I still think the Nasdaq's got another fifteen percent to go lower. So I think our index will probably come back at least back to 6,700 here. So right. I wouldn't be nibbling here yet. I'd be, right. I'd be uh, just waiting. I'd be waiting here, being patient. Uh, you're going to get some <coughs> of these good stocks here. People are still buying, jumping in and buying the growth stocks. So I saw, you know, the, the other week after the CP, after the interest hike there, I think Ark Investments had the single largest uh, retail inflow for you know for the year, which tells you that the retail punters are still buying high risk mm. stuff. So within two days we're at new lows. So that's the sort of classic, you know, I mean, don't get me started on crypto. I mean, that's that's going to be the biggest, uh, 
mean, Bertie Madoff lost 60 billion. We've had two coins, what, drop 18 and 20 billion just this <laughs> week alone right. in, in capitalization. So <laughs> that thing it's, is- It's a very yeah. hot topic here in the Osbys yeah. office, as you can <coughs> imagine, yeah. because we've got some of the youngsters on the team who uh, are still talking up um, uh, cryptos, and then you have the grumpy old people like yeah. Scuddy and me and saying, hey, yeah. this is all overblown. We, we were look, uh, Nadine was looking for a, um, a new name for a new crypto show we're doing yeah. and asked us all for suggestions. Uh, yeah. I suggested tulips. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm with you, I'm with you. I, I actually, I hope that, I noticed that uh, there's about two or three new crypto ETFs that have hit yes. the market today. Um, and there have been a few recently. Pl ETF providers, please put a short ETF together on the crypto. I would absolutely love that. That's like oh. the money I've made on the short NAS and the BBUS. It will be pale into significance of what's possible on a short crypto. Please put a short crypto <laughs> ETF together. <laughs> yeah, I reckon I'll be in that too. Josh, do you agree or? Yeah, look, there's actually a crypto that does that if you uh, want to buy it directly rather than an ETF. Yeah, yeah. It, no, no, it shorts uh, Bitcoin. So there's, there's, you know, there's a market for everything yeah. in cryptos. You've got to, get, got to use a futures contract or a, a user CFT provider. I, I believe it's actually a coin itself that just purely shorts it. So oh, yeah, can you have and, a there's coin? A, and there's a whole nother risk associated oh, with that again. 18,000. <laughs> 18, there's a coin for every crypto coins, you know that? 18,000. Jeez. 18 right. billion dollars, yeah, 24 yeah. hours wiped off one coin. At yeah. One of those 18,000. Yeah. And uh, what Bernie lost is what Bernie lost 60 million, 60 billion. Right. So that 20 billion in, in one coin, one night. Wow. You gotta put that in perspective. Yep, absolutely. Yeah.